Red Hunt here, guys, back with another Jurassic Park 3 review. I'm going to be looking at another uh, vehicle from the Jurassic Park 3 Hasbro line. Uh, there wasn't really many vehicles, but this was another... Alright, for the record, I accidentally hit that and that sound happened, but alright, I'm going to be reviewing the Jurassic Park 3 Marine Attack Helicopter, or... Air Sabri, whichever you want to call it. I think it's called Marine Copter, though. But before I get this review started, all I'm going to say is, uh... I'm not sure how many people are going to know this, but, uh, Dino Crisis 2, anybody? Sorry about that, but yes, that's what I was talking about. Dino Crisis 2, if you played that PlayStation 1 classic. This helicopter looks like it was taken right from that scene. I think these both came out around the same time. I think Dino Crisis 2 came out in 2001, 2002-ish. I'm pretty sure. But either way, this helicopter looks just like from the game, whether that was on purpose or on an accident. I mean, who knows? But it looks just like the helicopter that appeared in that scene that we just watched, or I had you guys watch. Sorry about the quality, I just didn't feel like downloading the video and having my computer get viruses on it just to put a little picture up in the corner right here of what's going on in the thing. But either way, so I figured I'd just record my iPad to show you guys what I was talking about. So whether or not you feel like this helicopter is from Dino Crisis 2 or not, uh, I feel like it looks somewhat based off of it. Not a complete 100% match, but it's close enough. But this thing came kind of loaded with a few action features. The battery compartment's right there. You take that out and put the batteries in here. But one of the action features was you take this red button and you uh, spin it and the uh, rotators move. And it makes it sounds. So while kind of an annoying spot to keep rotating it, it doesn't really, like, you know. It's a really cool feature, but I feel like this button to rotate it's like in a really annoying spot underneath right here. It's no like easy way to hold this and do that really. I mean maybe like that. I feel like that button would have been better like somewhere maybe back here or something like to roll and set it up underneath, but it's not a huge deal. But either way these rotator pieces <coughs> can uh, collapse down. These rotator pieces collapse down, and just like the Jurassic Park 3 Alpha Pteranodon we looked at, any time you even move these rotator these rotator blades and or the button on the bottom, it makes the sound like it's flying. So not like the Dino Crisis 2 helicopter in the video, it doesn't have rockets that come out of these compartments right here on the side. Like, it's got a rocket on the front, which I guess isn't too far off. It's rockets are rockets, whether they're hidden in the side right here or in the front, but... You take these buttons, or well not buttons, you take the wheels right here. You take these wheels, push it forward, and it launches it like so. Hold on. Oh, and I freaking missed. What a fail. I will have to get that later. That just fell behind there. All right, now we're back. That was a complete fail, but as you can see, that's how this shoots. And when you shoot this missile, it makes electronic sounds being so... So it sounds like it's firing missiles, and then it sounds like the missiles hit something and then explode. Very cool, very cool. This one just basically goes right back into here. You hear it snap in, and then it's in there to be fired again. Rotator blade that uh, I don't think moves on the back, just for looks. Just for looks. Same with this. Same with the wheel on the back, just for looks. Uh, Dino damage is this back piece that comes off. Revealing the engine of this looks like it got a little bit beat up, clawed up by the Spinosaurus or 
whatever, pteranodons perhaps maybe. But you, for the other thing is uh, the downer damage, this piece comes out, this plastic piece. And when that does come off, you can press this button to make dino damage sounds. I swear we've heard this sound before on the MCC and the ATDT. So, that same dino damage sound, this piece just goes right back. And... And that covers it. Every time you put this back green cat piece on, sometimes it will hit the uh, dino damage button right there. It's kind of transparent and see-through. You can see the red button. Sometimes this plastic will hit that. And, yeah. Uh, Jurassic Park 3 mark. Really cool, really cool. I like the colors on this marine helicopter. It's almost like it's a really dark, dark jet gray towards the front. And as it gets greener towards the back, as you can see. So... Really dark in the front, and then like it's almost a marine army green color on the back. Really cool, really cool with colors work. It looks pretty realistic for what it is. Pretty decent amount of detail, I mean, on this for, me, for what it is, guys. Being a Dress Park 3 Hasbro toy. Dress Park 3 mark is on both sides of the chopper right there. Really good looking. But uh, here's the other thing. The exclusive pilot that comes with this who has actually let's look and see not really any detail inside uh, as you can pretty much kind of imagine there's not really things it kind of just holds the figure no gauges or anything so kind of lame but it's whatever it holds the figure inside here's your marine pilot he doesn't have any Jurassic Park mark or anything on him really besides the universal on his leg right there I think it says universal trademark and Amblin 2000 Hasbro China. A pretty cool pilot, I mean, for Jurassic Park 3 standards. He sizes up with all the other humans from the Jurassic Park 3 line. There's a Brachiosaurus, so yeah. But yes, he just goes right back into here. And this piece can break off too if you want. It's on this little hinge piece right here, as you can see. Occasionally, sometimes that's missing, but not really can go forward and back and then locks it into place and he's in there snug so overall this is a really cool helicopter considering there hasn't really been many helicopters from any Jurassic Park toy lines besides the series one capture copter so it's pretty cool to see another helicopter done but this time by Hasbro being for the Jurassic Park 3 line uh, we didn't really see attack helicopters like this in the movie until the end when the army shows up so this could probably fit in to be one of those helicopters at the end of the movie is probably why they added this in the toy line so not too too far off while ridiculous it's not extremely unbelievable considering the army was in the end of dress park 3 so if i had to rate this toy it gets probably a 3.8 or a 4 almost hitting a 4 it's an above average vehicle for the dress park 3 line considering this it was only this and then the other motorcycle set and yeah, so there wasn't really many vehicles, so this was a really cool helicopter. And even to this day now, this helicopter is uh, probably one of the, the neatest little attack choppers, attack helis, because uh, you can conceal the figure inside and he's protected by glass or whatever, so it's really cool. Most helicopters sometimes, some toy lines, they don't have this cockpit and your figure's just out in the open. Chat May, I'm looking at you, but yeah, it's not bad. Either way, not bad. I just prefer this Dress Park 3 one over it. Or er, somewhat more in general. Uh, the helicopter, like I said, sizes up with a dinosaur right there. It's a Dress Park 3 dinosaur. So it's not huge. And it's not extremely rare either. It can probably be found for 20 to 30 US dollars, depending if it's still in the packaging or not. And if it has all the pieces, sometimes it's missing the dino damage on the back. But, as always, if you don't really care about the dino damage, I mean, not really a huge deal. I mean, the engine's just kind of exposed is all. So, yeah, if you guys have this, give the video a thumbs up. Or, if you're looking to get this helicopter, tell me what you guys think of it. Do you agree with the 3.7 to 4-ish rating? Or, what do you think it should be rated? And, do you have it or are you looking to get this? As always, 
Subscribe if you want to see more Jurassic Park stuff. There'll be uh, another video up this weekend, Sunday. I'll be doing another review. It's probably going to be a Lost World Raptor. So, yeah, stick around, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.